Welcome to new look and feel of SAP Experiencing Query Apps. Please visit www.simplefinancesupport.com to enrich your SAP skills. So in this uh, session, you will learn about Fury app, manage profit centers and you know, display a particular profit center in Fury app, uh, which is a traditional SAP transaction code such as, you know, KE53. So instead of that, uh, now you're going to use a Fury app for displaying your profit center. Okay. So let's go for a demo and uh, see how it looks like uh, as far as the the app is concerned so first of all let me go to uh, the fury app library first and then um, here uh, in the fury app library let me search by profit center okay so if you search by profit center it you know displays hundreds of uh, you know profit center related apps so at this point of time i would like to show you the profit center master data so like manage profit center master data because in the previous session i covered profit center groups so here let me select that particular uh, profit center master data here and the moment i select that um, on the right side it will show like the attributes of a profit center master data uh, fury app okay so again here this is related to a, a controller role uh, basically uh, in any company if you have a controller so obviously is a role requires uh, the profit center master data information required backend is s4 hana line of business is finance application type is webbed info again this is a uh, type of application database is hana database so and um, again uh, it gives you the technical information for implementing this particular um like profit center app so all the information that you can look at here uh, and also like technical catalog kind of information and also you know business uh, catalog if you think of like you know the gl accountant is also interested in that okay so and the business role wise like sap br controller is a role so this is the role uh, one has to be assigned so that uh, the profit center manage Profit Center app will be automatically appearing in its query library. So this is the implementation information like product, product feature wise it will tell you like how does it look like okay. So this is what I am going to show a demo on this uh, particular app. So let's go to uh, Profit Center, Manage Profit Center. So again if I go all the way back to home screen and again here if you see here manage profit center the application you can see here and um, this application is nothing but the fury app when you click on this manage profit center so it will open up the application which will list out all the profit center that you have okay so in this case in this example system i have like you know standard sap provided profit centers and um, if you if you get access to standard sap in amazon cloud uh, which is pretty easy to get once you get uh, on the access so this uh, predefined content is already loaded into the system okay so you can go here and look at the you know the list of profit center and uh, i'm just opening one profit center here just click on the pro product b it's like a profit center of course profit center definition can be you know different for different companies you know the way that they are you know like uh, you know market their uh, hierarchy enterprise hierarchy so based on that um, the information will be there okay so i'm like clicking on there's a button called display so i can just click on that it will display here it's opening up so you see here entire information related to that profit center at one shot it is displayed here right so for example you know which controlling area it is there what is the profit center okay and also interestingly um, all the information which used to be in the tabs in traditional 
SAP GUI transaction. Now it is appearing at one place. And uh, SAP also provides you like what company codes are assigned at this particular profit center. So you can like collapse the first section and then automatically the second section and the company code assignment section is appearing there. Okay. So and then um, you can you can click on the top if you see here edit or copy if you want to copy this particular profit center to another profit center then simply use the copy function edit function to edit any of the attributes that are there of course you can edit name and the person responsible profit center group etc and also every profit center comes with the, the address as well and you can have the indicators like lock indicators such as that information you can also have here Right. So all that uh, you can pretty much um, edit here and uh, if at all any changes are made like in the change history it will be there. So for example segment was changed on 11-16, um, 2016 and then you know old value was null and new value was entered as um, the thousand hundred square B. So like that change history also appearing here right the general information is like this. So this is what all about the profit center yb111 here and this is the way you can manage so you don't need to go to sap query to manage uh, simply you can use an app uh, which you can access from anywhere uh, that is the the power of query apps right so that is what you can use okay now i'm going back here i'm not saving anything there at this point of time and um, again uh, like you know you can pretty much go back to your main screen to you know show what apps that you have right so like that so this is the app that we used to you know display uh, and manage the profit center so in this session we covered uh, how we you know see that manage profit center like how intuitive it is to manage for business it is a lot of value add because you don't require to log into sap traditional gui and um, you know jump a bunch of um, tabs all the information at one place is available and the look and feel also is enriched a lot again please uh, uh, visit simplepenandsupport.com for enriching your sap skills thanks for watching this video